picture a beautiful, peaceful, tranquil scene that makes you feel good and relaxed, deep into your subconscious mind and beyond. Can you tell me what you're inside of? What does it look like around you? It's obviously old. Are you aware of having a name at all? Thomas. OK, Thomas. What do you sense happening now? I sense a woman called Sarah. She's in a green dress. What kind of dress? Sort of medieval times. It's like a square neck. And what's your relationship to this woman? I think I'm obviously very fond of her. Does she know that you have feelings for her? Yes, yeah, she does. And she loves me too. I keep getting the feeling that I, for some reason, am not allowed to see her. Do you have a job or anything you do in your community? I build furniture. And I think I uh, play a lute. I sense I am uh, standing on a table uh, singing. Is Sarah there? Uh, yes, she is. And I keep looking at her and smiling. We're in a bar and we're drinking. What are you drinking? Ale and pewter tankards. I have this impression that the uh, door has burst open and I am being arrested by people or taken away by people. Why has this happened to you? Do you know? Because I love Sarah. How does Sarah's father feel about you? Uh, he doesn't want me seeing a girl. Go ahead in time now to the next significant event. I saw bars earlier. And I, I see them again now. They're like black and they're wrought iron. They're like in a square. What do you sense happening now? I see myself sitting on a horse. There are lots of other people around me on horses. And how long is it since you've left the prison? Five years. And have you ever seen Sarah since? No. But I think today, the reason I'm here is because I'm getting revenge. And so this castle, who lives in this castle? I think this is where Sarah's father lives. We want to kill that man and free the area where we live. And who is this man? He's a baron. What year is it on this day where you plan to take revenge on this baron? I think it's the 1400s. OK, go ahead in time now to the next significant event. Uh, we are having a feast. We have won our battle. What happened to the baron? He is dead. He was on uh, some stone steps, trying to do a spiral staircase, go up a tower, and I put an arrow through his throat. And does Sarah know that you had to kill her father? Yes. OK, go ahead in time now to the next significant event in that lifetime. I'm sitting with Sarah. We have children now. How many children do you have? We have three. What's happening now? Um, I think I'm dying. I'm a much older man. I'm not old and grey, but I'm a much older man. She's uh, clasping my hand. And how do you feel about dying? don't really want to go. I just say to her, I don't want to... I will see her in the future. I'll see her again. And who would Sarah be in 2005? Would she be anyone you know in 2005? Can only be my wife. Okay, what did you learn in that lifetime? What did you learn? You have to do what you think's right. Even if it's tough. Just allow any of the sadness of dying and leaving your family behind out through your feet in that lifetime. 
So as we begin, one, two, lighter and lighter, three, four, lighter and brighter, eyes open, nine, ten, wide awake. How do you feel? Um, uh, quite amazed. Yeah. It is a bit of a scary experience because you think, right, okay, I was just a bloke called Thomas and I just shot an arrow through this old guy's neck and killed him and it went right in there. The weird thing is now I'm thinking 1470. Oh, I don't know why I'm thinking 1470. I see that woman, Sarah, and the feelings I have for my wife are the feelings I have for that woman. Here we are sort of 600 years on and, uh, it, and I've got the same feeling with this woman.